We are back with three CST questions. There's a new format that I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the question, give you some time. If you want to push pause, answer it. But eventually, I will let you know what the answer is after I give you the question. So it really is a kind of look at the answer, answer it the best of your ability. But the answer will be at the very end of the question after I read it. That's the only way I'm going to change that now. Anyways, three CST questions. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like this channel. It helps me with the algorithm. Get this information out there to all the students, anyone that might be interested. Uh, but anyways, if you're on this one video, it's about CST. What is CST? It's the Certified Surgical Technologist Exam. It's a national exam. It's not mandatory in some states. Uh, it soon will be mandatory, uh, but it means more money. It proves you know what you know, right? And most employers are looking for certifications. So uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of resources out there, but obviously a lot of people are trying to get. So I'm just putting three questions up there for your reference and uh, kind of doing it that way. If you have any suggestions about what you want to hear, questions you want to talk about, just put them in the comment sections. If you're a student here at Southern Technical College, just ask me in the hallway. All right. Anyways, the first question, again, I'm going to read that question. I will put it up right in front of my face here so you can see it. Uh, you answer it. Push pause if you want to give a little time to look at it. But just remember, I am going to give you the answer as soon as I'm done reading that question. Three of them. And then I will eventually put a extra question at the very end, kind of a bonus question to see if you guys stick around to the end. All right, I'm gonna jump right into that first question, okay? This is kind of a microbiology edition, right? Microbiology, your favorite. Gram negative, question number one. Gram negative bacteria has a what? Is it A, thick wall and stained purple? Is it B, thin cell walled and stained purple? Is it thick cell walled and stained pink? Or is it D, a thin cell wall and stained pink? Right. If you don't know a little bit about grand negative and staining in general, we're trying to find the different thicknesses of that cell membrane, right? Based on um, the actual cell makeup, right? Help you determine what type of antibiotic. But anyways, what do you think that answer is? Pause it if you want to look at that question a little bit more. It's coming off the screen right now. It's gone. And the answer, based on the CST exam, is D, a thin cell wall or stained pink. And that's for grand negative bacteria. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. All right, on to the second question for microbiology. All right, question is, question number two. Microorganisms that are facilitative anaerobes. Is it A, can survive only in the presence of oxygen? Is it B, cannot live in the presence of oxygen? Is it C, can survive with or without the presence of oxygen? Or is it D, none of the above, right? Anaerobes, anaerobic, right? What do you think that answer is? Push pause if you want to think about it, but you should know what the answer is. Anyways, the answer is C can survive with or without the presence of oxygen, right? Not a good type of bacteria. All right, you stuck around, all right. All right, question number three, moving right along, put that up on the screen. Bacteria spores are resistant to, bacteria spores are resistant to, A, heat, B, drying, C, chemicals, or D, all of the above. All right, off the screen, I give you one, two, three. The answer is all of the above. They're resistant to all of them, heat, drying, and chemicals. That's why they make it, that's why spores are difficult to get rid of, right? All right, that is microbiology, three questions, CST. You stuck around for the last one, bonus question. Just kind of a suggestion, if you can like and subscribe, is really gonna help me out. But we're looking Let's for go. contact hours. You help me get to over a thousand subscribers, you watchers out there throughout the world. But I need contact hours. That means you need to put all your videos on loop and just let them play because Brad has to retire soon. Now, if you can watch these videos, share these with friends, suggest what you want to see. I think I'm going to have a lot more draping videos, a lot more um, 
kind of hands-on types of stuff. Uh, I've done some instrumentation videos on this website or on this YouTube page. Um, but I want to have more draping. Uh, I think that's a lot of things what students want to see is draping techniques. So I think the next edition will be some draping series, right? Do I have the question in mind? Not really. I have to go find it. All right. The bonus question that in involves microbiology for surgical technology. Bonus question. You stuck around to the end. Microbiology. The question is, put it up on that screen. We're going to do it real quick here. Chemical agent used to kill microbes, including spores that is used only on an inanimate object, is what? Is it A, a disinfectant? Is it B, sporcidal? Is it C, antiseptic? Or is it D, a gluter aldehyde, right? Keyword is spores, right? Push that pause button. What do you think that answer is? Well, I'm going to give you the answer. And one, two, three, it's D, glutaraldehyde. That's a high level disinfectant, kills spores. It'll pretty much kill everything. Why don't you watch these other videos, put it right there and there, and watch you push my little face there and subscribe. Make sure you share and like. Go like everything and make sure you get that 4,000 watch time. Just put them on loop. Just loop it out nighttime. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.